Welcome to Nature Explorers, another day, another story. In this video we will talk about threats to ecosystems, habitats, and biodiversity. There are several threats to ecosystems, habitats, and biodiversity, which are primarily driven by human activities. The following are some of the most significant threats. Habitat loss refers to the reduction or destruction of natural habitats such as forests, wetlands, grasslands, and coral reefs. This often occurs as a result of human activities such as deforestation, urbanization, agriculture, and mining. As habitats are destroyed, the plants and animals that rely on them for food, shelter, and other resources are also impacted and can lead to the decline or loss of entire species. Fragmentation occurs when large habitats are divided into smaller, isolated fragments due to human activities such as road construction, logging, and agriculture. This can have significant impacts on the connectivity and biodiversity of ecosystems, as species are often unable to move between fragments, leading to reduced gene flow and increased risk of inbreeding. For example, deforestation can lead to changes in hydrological cycles and nutrient cycling, which can impact the quality of downstream waterways, altered ecological processes, Edge effects, caused by fragmentation, can create conditions that favor some species while disadvantaging others, leading to changes in species composition, increased edge effects. When populations are isolated from each other, they become more genetically distinct and can experience inbreeding, which can reduce genetic diversity and increase the risk of extinction reduced gene flow. Fragmentation can create conditions that favor invasive species, which can colonize and dominate the fragmented habitat, increased vulnerability to invasive species. Habitat loss and fragmentation can have significant impacts on human well-being, such as decreased availability of food and clean water, increased risk of natural disasters, and reduced opportunities for recreation and cultural activities that depend on intact ecosystems impacts on human well-being. Overexploitation, it refers to the unsustainable use of natural resources, often resulting in depletion or extinction of the targeted species or degradation of the ecosystem. This can occur through activities such as overfishing, illegal wildlife trade, overharvesting of timber, and hunting of animals for their parts such as ivory, horns or pelts. Depletion of targeted species, overexploitation can result in the decline or loss of targeted species, such as fish, wildlife, and trees. This can have cascading impacts on the entire ecosystem, as these species play important roles in maintaining ecosystem processes and services. Impacts on food security, Overfishing and other forms of overexploitation can lead to reduced food security for communities that depend on these resources for sustenance. This can lead to social and economic instability, as well as increased conflict over resource access. Economic impacts Overexploitation can also have negative economic impacts, such as lost income and jobs for communities that rely on the resources. Impacts on biodiversity Overexploitation can lead to reduced biodiversity, which can have long term impacts on ecosystem health and resilience. As species decline or disappear, the remaining species may be unable to fill the ecological roles they played leading to changes in ecosystem processes and functions. Pollution, refers to the introduction of harmful or unwanted substances into the environment, including air, water, and soil. Pollution can come from natural sources, but it is often caused by human activities such as industrial processes, transportation, agriculture, and waste disposal. Air pollution, can cause respiratory problems, 
such as asthma, lung cancer, and heart disease. It can also contribute to climate change, acid rain, and depletion of the ozone layer. Water pollution can make water sources unusable for drinking, swimming, and other activities. It can also harm aquatic life, disrupt aquatic ecosystems, and contribute to the spread of diseases. Soil pollution can harm plants and animals that live in the soil, reduce soil fertility, and contaminate food sources. It can also contribute to the spread of diseases. Pollution can lead to the loss of habitats, changes in species composition, and reduced genetic diversity. Pollution can have negative economic impacts, such as decreased property values, lost income for fishing and tourism industries, and increased healthcare costs. Climate change refers to the long-term changes in the Earth's climate, including changes in temperature, precipitation, and weather patterns that are caused by human activities, particularly the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and land use changes. Climate change has numerous negative impacts on ecosystems and human societies, including rising sea levels, as global temperatures increase, glaciers and polar ice caps are melting, causing sea levels to rise. This can lead to flooding of coastal areas and displacement of people. Extreme weather events, climate change is leading to more frequent and severe weather events, such as hurricanes, droughts, and heat waves. These events can cause significant damage to infrastructure, crops, and natural ecosystems. Changes in ecosystems, climate change can lead to shifts in the distribution and abundance of species, changes in the timing of seasonal events, and loss of biodiversity. Health impacts, climate change can have significant impacts on human health, including increased exposure to air pollution, heat-related illnesses, and the spread of diseases. Economic impacts, Climate change can have significant economic impacts, including lost productivity due to extreme weather events, increased healthcare costs, and lost income for industries that rely on natural resources. Invasive species are non-native species that have been introduced to a new ecosystem and have the potential to cause harm to the environment, economy, or human health. They can outcompete native species for resources, alter habitat, and disrupt ecosystem processes. Invasive species can disrupt ecosystem processes, such as nutrient cycling and pollination, by altering the composition and interactions of species in an ecosystem. Outcompeting native species Invasive species can outcompete native species for resources such as food, water, and space, leading to declines or even extinctions of native species. Altering habitat, invasive species can alter habitat by changing soil chemistry, water availability, and the physical structure of ecosystems, which can negatively impact native species. Economic impacts. Invasive species can have negative economic impacts, such as lost income for industries that rely on native species, increased costs for managing and controlling invasive species, and damage to infrastructure. Health impacts Invasive species can have negative health impacts on humans, such as the spread of diseases and allergies. For example, the introduction of the cane toad to Australia has led to the decline of several native species, including snakes and lizards, which are important predators of the toad. By working together to address these challenges, we can help ensure that our planet remains healthy and vibrant for generations to come. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Nature Explorers today and be transported to a world of adventure, learning, and pure, unadulterated beauty.